Howdy everybody, it's uh, John Coffee here again. This is my last DVD update. I got about five more, five new ones, and I figured I'd go ahead and show them. I got them. And uh, the first one is American Psycho by Mary Herring. It stars Christian Bale, and it's basically about a 80s yuppie who works in a big old firm, and they all eat at the, he eats at the best restaurant, has the, you know, tries to get the best haircut, tries to get the best business cards and stuff like that. But he also is a serial killer who he murders people. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but uh, I like it a lot. It's, it's very weird. They got the look at the field of the 80s. Just perfect. And uh, the only problem I have with this movie is the ending doesn't make a lot of sense. If y'all can just explain it to me, that'd be cool. Because I just didn't get it. But it, it, other than that, it's a great movie. Next, I got a uh, Frank Henlotter's Basket Case. And Basket Case is about a guy named Dwayne who goes to New York City and he's carrying a big wicker basket with him. And in the wicker basket is his, uh, this guy right here, his, uh, Siamese brother, Bilal, who's the head and some arms. And as a teenager, they were separated against their will by their dad who wanted du uh, Dwayne to have a normal life. And he just threw Bilal away, but they had a psychic link and Dwayne was able to find Bilal. Now they've gone back to New York City to find the doctors who separated them, and Bilal was killing them off one by one. I champion this movie with every time I'm talking to somebody about horror movies. I try to mention Basket Case. I love Basket Case. But it seems people either love that movie or hate it, and there's no in between with it. Then you got Nightmare City by Umberto Lindsay. Now, I normally am not a fan of Umberto Lindsay. Like, Eyeball was alright, and I really didn't like Campbell Ferox at all. But this one was really good. It's basically about an airplane who gets contaminated with radiation. And when they show up at the airport, they won't answer the phone. They won't answer the radio or nothing. So the cops and a bunch of army people show up at it. And when the people get out of the plane, they've been turned into like zombie-like creatures. But they, instead of eating flesh, they have to drink blood to survive because the radiation like dries their blood up. They have to have a fresh patch of blood. And a journalist, uh, journalist sees this who's in the news, and he runs off and tries to find his wife. And basically you follow a... Uh, him and his wife trying to find places to hide and get away from the zombie things. This movie is awesome. I don't got nothing else to say about it, but this movie is great. I absolutely love Nightmare City. So check that one out if you have never seen this movie and you're into Italian zombie films. Next up is another Italian film with uh, Dario Argento's opera, which is basically about a opera singer who, uh, there's an opera singer who gets hurt and is unable to perform the play Beth, so they hire, they get her to play it, and it's a big stand ovation, but she's worried about it because of the Macbeth curse, which is, you know, everybody knows about that, where they say when you try to put on Macbeth, bad things happen. And basically, a crazed fan begins to kidnap her, tie her up, and put these needles under her eyelids, and forces her to watch him kill people. It's a, it's a good, good giallo. It's probably my favorite Dark Universal film ever. The gore scenes are amazing, and it's really brutal. I loved it. So, if you're a fan of Jalos and Argento, get this movie. Finally, we got The Wicker Man, which comes in this awesome slipcase. I love that cover, but also love this, the original cover. Now, I think everybody knows about The Wicker Man, and this is not the Nicolas Cage version. This is the old one that has a Christopher Lee in it. But this is basically about a detective who shows up at, uh, what was it, uh, Summer Isle. Island, the island of Summer Isle, he, uh, he got a report that there's a missing girl, and he's trying to find the girl, but the, the, uh, the island is not very cooperative with him, saying there's no, there's just no girl there, she was never there, and he finds that she was there, but she's dead, and when he digs up the, the casket, some weird things are happening, and, uh, it basically finds out that they're pagans, and they practice some very odd things, and that leads to, I'm not gonna spoil it on here, but the ending is unreal, if you've ever seen it, you know what I'm talking about. This is an amazing movie. It's a very weird, very atmospheric movie that I just absolutely love. And I highly recommend it. And do not mistake this for the uh, Nicolas Cage movie because you will not be happy. But that's all I got for now. I got a box set coming up. And when I get it, I'll probably talk about it. And I should have a few more things. And uh, hey, comment it if you like it. If you don't, I'll stop doing it, I guess. But thanks for watching. Catch me. I'll catch y'all later.